So today I would like to go ahead and do a little bit of work to the house. Now, for me personally, this is what I think. When you have a world, <laughs> the house should be the main attraction to that world. Now, I've kind of, you know, I just heard a skeleton in my roof. There's some things that you know, it, it's starting to look outdated and not bring enough attention to with the house. So I'm going to go ahead and do some major updates to this place, including extending it and fixing some of the texturing as it's mainly just cobblestone and wait, no, it's quite literally just cobblestone and stone bricks. So I'm going to update that now that I actually have, if we come down here, now that we have this, Yes, I even extended it even further since last episode. I think I actually extended it like three layers from last episode. So now it's working quite well. And if I come over here, this is where it'll be. I haven't been on much since I built it. There's a ton of cactus. So it's going to come go all the way up here, that water bubble and places it here. So I don't got to go down. And uh, here's a little AFK hole that I built, but this is plenty. So I think I'm going to go ahead and actually use some green uh, terracotta, I think, and I think I'm going to mix that in here. So what I want to do is the bottom layer will be more of like a cobblestone mixture of sorts. And then the top in this little bit here at the wall will be green. And then I'll leave the stone bricks as kind of the outline of the buildings, but just place like a little in interior wall there with just green. I think that's going to be nice. It's going to add a lot more color to the place. Now, if you guys haven't seen last episode this is the brand new chest room that i built in that episode so this is episode nine this would have been episode eight where i re i guess built this most of this actually i removed the entire roof rebuilt a brand new roof and uh reimagined this floor for this so it's actually quite good i have if i look at the dirt <laughs> max dirt and i'm getting quite close for maxed out stone uh stone bricks not too crazy cobblestone i got like nothing because i don't use the fortune pick let's begin so i need to go through the nether into the terracotta area let me make sure i have plenty of space on me and let's just go collect a ton of plain terracotta which we will die green now while i'm quickly <laughs> extending the roof height so i can later on make a little path i wanted to just quickly say thank you all for 250 subscribers. I know we're a little bit past that now. I think we're closer to 260 at this point, but I just wanna say thank you guys so much for that. And as well, we passed 6,500, 6,500 uh, views today. So once again, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate that you guys are actually enjoying this series. And um, the last video that I just released was exploring the Minecraft 1.21. Now, that video is doing quite well at this moment. I think it's over 400 views, and uh, that's awesome. So, thank you guys all for the support on this series. <laughs> okay, so we made it out. I have a ton of netherrack. I filled up this entire shulker with that as well. Yeah, we also got this little place here. Uh, if I care to do another raid. But yeah, this is the jungle I was talking about. So, hopefully, I could potentially find a panda in there. The more you go in, the more bamboo you'll find. But this is regular terracotta, so I should be able to dye this. So I'm just going to mine down, I guess, this whole little mountain thing here and uh, collect all of it. I'm going to leave this brown because I don't need it. I'm not going to ever use it. Actually... Okay, so I have three and a little bit of that, and I also have whatever's in this. So I think that should be fine. I don't think I actually need any more regular terracotta for now, as I don't think it's gonna be actually that much green going into the house. So it should be fine. If I, ever, if I do need to come back, I'll come back. That's not a big deal. Okay, so while I have all that cactus smelting, ow, I'm going to go ahead and take some of this brick. I guess I'll be fine. And I'm going to start doing some of the layout. So I'm going to extend this way. So I'm going to do a big, probably a tower similar to this design. And then I'm just gonna continue out probably up to here. 
probably around here, most likely fill up this whole space. I think that'd be a good extension to the house. Okay, so I just removed the sugarcane and this wheat, little wheat field here that it didn't quite need anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, which will be another pillar, probably up around that height, maybe even a little taller. Uh, and I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that way there should be when I have, I don't have the economy, <laughs> I dropped it. So it'll be one window, two window, three window. Let's just do this. So it'll be like this. So that's one window, two window, and then a third window here. So that should be fine. Gives us plenty of space. And then I'll continue out this way, probably. Let's take this. So that'll be that. So I'll do one, two, three, four, and then an entrance maybe. One, two, three, four. That's a total of five. So that'll take us right up to the wall here. Okay, so this will be an entrance. This will be where the kind of like stables are, which I'll stick the little llamas over here. I might even get a horse because I haven't had a horse yet this season. So I might as well get myself a horse and have a horse in there as well. So I think that's just, I think that's what I'm going to go for. Let me get rid of this. So now I just got to build this up to a little bit above, a little bit higher than this because I want it to be like, if it's too much the same length and well, that should be fine. Yeah, because once the roof's on here, it'll be slightly taller. I think that's... I don't know what height that is. I wouldn't even counting, but that should be fine. Okay, so I don't really have much cobble. I also didn't have any tough, but I went down and grabbed a few because I think I'm going to mix in some tough with the cobblestone. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to go back and do that same thing with the existing cobblestone because it's just... It's too much cobble. There's not enough... Uh, I guess separation in uh, contrast and stuff. So I think I'm going to add like, I'm going to add a bunch of detail to the, the rest of the house that I haven't done from, since the beginning. So I also would like to try and bring the beacon. I think if you bring it down to the bottom, it will still add the haste up in here, but it'll also allow it to be down below, which is where I mainly use it when I'm mining. So that'd be nice, but let's go ahead and just take some tough. So I think I'm going to, like I said, it's going to be like this for one window, two window, three window. So it's going to be something like this. So we'll just kind of go up and, uh, okay. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm not going to have windows below. I think the windows are going to be specifically for up top. So let's grab our rockets and take forever to get over here. But I also added a little section here. So this is going to continue. I'm going to open up this wall and just add the bookshelves on the side. And I'll continue right through into the next room. So with this, this is where the window will be. So something like this. And now this is going to go up quite high. And it will match pretty much the same length, I guess, as this. That should be fine. Something like that. And then I'll add a separate roof, which will tie in with the exact same pretty much design as that roof most likely um i might even fix this roof because it's, it's so out of place i don't know what i did to end up with this result but it is hideous yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be so much better once this is tied in with the green i think it's gonna add so much more color to it and then uh yeah this is the first little room now i just need to continue this bit but i actually have no more green so i gotta go collect the whatever has been cooking yeah sure um now I'm just missing something all right i like that now obviously we'd have to add quite a good amount of details with like spruce doors buttons and fences and what whatever else but yeah i like that so it goes all the way around pretty nicely let's look it from the back yeah, that's that's so much better. It was, I like I've I've left it plain like this since episode one. I've always I've just been done so much other tasks, other builds. Like I haven't even finished this. Like this building needs a lot of work in detail. So maybe I'll do that also in this episode because I just I I plopped it down. I completely left it. It it's quite plain, and I'm pretty sure something happened to my door. Like it 
it's just gone. Now let's build the second part, which I don't have any stone brick. And uh, geez. Okay, so this is going to be the little stable area. Now, I don't actually have the room to build that on this side, so I'm gonna have to tear this back. Yeah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, roughly to this block here. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, that adds so much to the, the build already. It's so much, it's pretty much doubling in size. That looks, that's good. I like that. Okay, now it is complete. Now I just got to connect this block here from the surface. Ooh, okay. Finally made it. That was stressful. Okay, haste. Haste two. Alright, so now we have haste to town here. Perfect. So now. Oh, beautiful. So now I need to go up into the cobblestone area. The toss up there. And uh collect some cobble. So let's go up. And it should work all the way to whatever level. So yeah, the haste will should regenerate here. Yeah, perfect. All right, so now let's just collect. Why is there an enderman farm down below? Why is there so many endermen here? Everywhere I go, all over this entire land is enderman. Huh. Yeah. Let me just, let me just put this on quick. You know, create myself a little mob farm down here. It's beautiful. Okay, so now we should have the complete layer. Yeah, that looks that looks really good. I like the look of that. It goes all the way around. Now I just gotta get the green in, which I have plenty of. I, do I have it on me though? I do have some of it on, okay. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. So now I just gotta do the green, fill that in. And uh, this is the little spot inside. If you come in here, so I might leave this part here hollow which will add extra space for horses and all that stuff or i'll fill this in and use that space for something else i feel like i might actually just leave a hollow i think that looks pretty good looks so good I really enjoy the look of that now I just need to pretty much continue the pattern onto here I gotta replace this all with green all that with green but it looks really good and then I gotta obviously do the details at the end something that I want to also incorporate into the build a little bit and maybe use a lot more going forward is mud I know it's been out for a while but I've never actually built with it I've never knew how to create it I always thought I had to go to the, the little swamp forest, whatever it's called, the, <laughs> that has it. Um, but I don't think that's the case. I'm pretty sure if you just have dirt and a glass bottle with water, you place that on the dirt and it'll turn into mud, if I'm not mistaken. That's the only way I know about it, but I might have to look up other ways to make it. Um, so I think I'm going to do the floor in here, a pattern of a mixture of mud and mud bricks and whatnot. Because I've quite literally never used it, and I think that'd be interesting to try out. So maybe down the road I'll use that for other patterns in the builds as well. Would you look at this? This looks so good. I like the way that it looks. It obviously needs a little bit more touching up to do it, to do to it. But yeah, I really like the way that it, the green ties in with everything. It looks, it looks so good. Now, right here, obviously places like this, right there. It needs to kind of have a cutoff because it's, it doesn't transition. It's it's rough. So I'm obviously going to have to do a design there. It's quite easy. Won't take too long. Yeah. 
<laughs> looks really good. Okay, I gotta go figure out how to make mud. So I'm going to simply come in here. If we just grab a stack of dirt, let's grab. Uh, well, if we come up here, oh, look at that. So is this just regular mud now? Mud. Almost done. <laughs> I gotta look up. There has to be an easier way of doing this. We got 63 mud. I actually made that block mud. Whatever. Now, if I were to do this... Nope. How do you make this better looking mud? Let's search up mud. Packed mud. Now, for packed mud, you need to use wheat. Oh my gosh. And so we'll just kind of make a weird little pattern. It's kind of should tie everything in nicely um for up here like i said we kind of want to make it like a patio um but in order to make it look outstanding kind of like in your face which is the whole point of this house really uh i think i'm going to make it yellow carpet i think i want to add some yellow carpet as a little bit of a roof for here and uh mix with some fences and stuff like that and i think that could look pretty good sorry your mustard yellow deal with it but there's one thing that this is missing anvils i definitely overcrafted the anvils i got 25 left i don't know what to do with those um yeah that definitely looks pretty pretty good i suppose i think maybe i can go ahead and simply just add do i have any trap doors i keep losing my other box here it is i got seven I think it'd look nice if I just put trap doors on top to finish off. Yeah, that would look so much better. From here, you can go simply cross into this part. I could do more to this. I was thinking of removing these blocks and just opening this entire wall so that it's one like straight hallway. I probably will do that eventually. And then this in here was supposed to be... Uh, do I want it like that? Maybe like this. And then... I think that looks pretty good. So this is supposed to be the map room. I'll have the map on the floor. And then up here I'll put like some armor stands. And like the the dragon head, etc. This wall, I have no idea what I would do with that. I mean... Pictures or something, I don't know. Uh, and then I want to add a few more pots with some lamps in them, stuff like that, and probably decorate the ceiling with some leaves and just greenery and stuff. And then you come out here, you got this nice little place. I'll have to add some sort of seating, maybe a campfire or something like that. And then there's this place. I have no idea what I plan on doing with this plot of building. Uh, so it'll probably be something I'll have to figure out. I'll have to figure it out later and come up with something or... Uh, Maybe you guys let me know. I have no idea. So I think this looks really nice. It flows really good. I definitely want to open this up, I think. Okay, so now that that's opened up, I'll take this and just plop that there. Eh, something like that. Does it still... I have no idea. Do I have anything to... Sh Can I do shears? No, I can't. Uh, so I got no idea. <laughs> that's at level 30. Not That looks really ugly. I'll fix that later. But uh, now it's more open. You simply just walk through the entire house. So that looks really good. This came out better than I ever could have expected it to. I, uh, I really, really do enjoy the look of this. It's pretty much doubled in size, I would say. I pretty much just took the size that all of this was and just plopped it here. I really do like the look of that. Down there, I'll have to add some fences. And that's where I'll put these little dummies in there. I'm also going to name them. I got to figure out two names for these guys, which means I need to go buy some name tags from the trusty villagers in the building that I'm currently standing on. <laughs>